These are pied crows attempting to put out a fire before it escalates and gets out of hand. Crows, ravens, and jays are members of the corvidae bird family. Just like humans are the most intelligent primates, corvids stand out as the most intelligent among birds. Throughout history, people have marveled at the intelligence of these birds. They are so smart, we might find them a bit creepy. These birds are commonly associated with ominous signs and considered symbols of bad luck, not helped by the fact that a group of crows is called a murder. They are the sole bird family known to use tools in a manner comparable to primates. These remarkable birds exhibit abstract reasoning, complex problem solving, and have the capacity to collectively make decisions as a group or family. With a brain just as big as a human thumbprint, here are 10 ways crows prove their intelligence that will absolutely terrify you. Starting at number 10. Did you know that crows live in extended families? Crows typically have a lifespan of seven to eight years in the wild, with the potential to live up to 15 years. In captivity, some crows have been known to live for as long as 30 years, exemplified by a captive crow in New York that reached the age of 59. Family units of crows often stay together for extended periods. Although these birds reach adulthood at four to six weeks, they don't attain sexual maturity until around two years old. During this period, they remain with their parents, assisting in raising subsequent siblings. Even after reaching maturity, they may intermittently return to their parents. The choice of a mate and nesting location usually occurs close to their birthplace. Crows are monogamous, forming lifelong partnerships, although occasional breeding with other crows can occur. At number nine, crows can literally recognize human faces. Can you distinguish one crow from another? In this regard, a crow might surpass human abilities as it can discern individual human faces. A team of scientists captured, tagged, and released crows, with team members donning different masks. Crows would aggressively engage and scold individuals wearing a mask, but only if that particular mask had been worn by someone who had interfered with them. 8. Crows talk about you to other crows. If you think that two crows observing you and cawing in each other's direction are discussing you, chances are you're correct. In a research study, even crows that hadn't been captured showed aggression toward scientists. How did these crows convey information about their assailants to other crows? Crow communication remains a topic of limited understanding. The intensity, rhythm, and duration of their cause appear to be fundamental elements of a potential language. At number seven, crows remember what you did. Crows have demonstrated the ability to transmit a grudge to their descendants, as evidenced by subsequent generations of crows targeting masked scientists. Another example of crow memory is observed in Chatham, Ontario. Approximately half a million crows used to stop in Chatham during their migration, posing a risk to the local farming community's crops. In response, the town's mayor declared war on crows, initiating a hunt. As a result, the crows altered their flight path to bypass Chatham at a higher altitude, avoiding potential shots. However, this adjustment hasn't prevented them from leaving droppings throughout the municipality for years. 6. Crows use tools and solve problems. While various species utilize tools, crows stand out as non-primates that not only use tools, but also innovate new ones. These intelligent birds exhibit a penchant for tool use, employing small, sharp, or hooked stripped branches to spear or extract prey from crevices. In a remarkable display of problem solving, they have been observed dropping rocks into containers to elevate the water level, enabling them to drink. Crows even engage in tool theft, appropriating items they deem potentially useful, such as bending wires for various purposes showcasing adaptability even to unfamiliar materials. The intelligence of crows mirrors the narrative in Aesop's fable, The Crow and the Pitcher, where a crow raises the water level by dropping stones into a pitcher to quench its thirst. Scientific experiments have confirmed this cognitive ability. In a particular test, a tantalizing treat was positioned in two deep tubes, one filled with sand and the other with water. The crows cleverly dropped dense objects into the water, 
ensuring the treat floated within reach, completely ignoring the tube with sand. In another test, a floating treat was placed in the tube. This time round, both heavy and light objects were disguised in white. The crow selectively chose the heavy objects, disregarding the light ones, bringing the treat within reach. In a different scenario with solid and hollow materials, the crow adeptly chose the solid option. When faced with cylinders of varying widths, the crow demonstrated ease in picking the treat from the narrower one. Remarkably, the crow selected objects based on their properties suitable for the task, displaying a level of understanding comparable to that acquired by human children between the ages of five to seven concerning volume displacement. At number five, crow's plan for the future. Looking ahead to the future is not exclusive to humans. Squirrels, for instance, store nuts as a form of food caching for times of scarcity. Crows, on the other hand, demonstrate not only future planning but also an understanding of the cognitive processes of fellow crows. When a crow decides to cache food, it takes into account the presence of other observers. If it detects another creature watching, the crow engages in a deceptive act, pretending to conceal its stash while covertly tucking it into its feathers. Subsequently, the crow takes flight to identify a fresh, undisclosed location. If another crow witnesses this clever bait-and-switch maneuver, it recognizes the game and refrains from being deceived. Instead, it tails the initial crow to unveil the whereabouts of its new cachet. 4. Crows adapt to new situations. Crows have adjusted to existence in a world dominated by humans. They observe our behaviors and glean knowledge from us. Some instances include crows dropping nuts in traffic lanes, anticipating cars to crack them open. They display a remarkable awareness of traffic lights, retrieving the nut only when the crosswalk sign is lit. This adaptive behavior arguably positions crows as more clever than many pedestrians. Furthermore, crows exhibit the ability to memorize restaurant schedules and garbage collection days, strategically capitalizing on optimal scavenging opportunities. 3. Crows literally understand analogies. Recall the analogy segment of the SAT test? Although it's unlikely for a crow to surpass your score on a standardized test, they do exhibit an understanding of abstract concepts, including analogies. In a study conducted in Moscow, crows were trained to associate items that shared similarities, same color, shape, or number. Subsequently, the birds were assessed to determine if they could recognize objects with analogous relationships. For instance, they were tasked with understanding that a circle and a square could be analogous to red and green, rather than two oranges. Impressively, the crows comprehended this concept on their first attempt without prior training in the notions of same and different. At number two, crows hold funerals. Upon the demise of a crow, a group of crows, known as a murder, will gather around the deceased bird and emit loud caws collectively. Their presence is not solely an expression of grief for the departed crow. Rather, it serves as a discussion about potential threats in the vicinity and the circumstances leading to the bird's demise. The communal behavior aims to enhance the safety of the remaining crows, turning the passing of one crow into a means of safeguarding the Sometimes others. Sometimes even placing objects on top of the body as if they were burying it. And then they disperse and leave the body where it is, in much similar way to how I've experienced, you know, the funerals for my family members. And at number one, crows can talk and also appreciate kindness. What's about you? Mischief, can you say hello? Hello. Good. Can you say hi? Hi. Crows, renowned for their remarkable memory, appreciate acts of kindness. By offering water, food, or engaging in other thoughtful gestures in their frequented areas, you can establish a lasting connection with these intelligent birds. Crows have been observed reciprocating such kindness by bringing human gifts, ranging from lost earrings to shiny objects or rocks, expressing gratitude for the assistance provided, be it food, water, or aid. Can I show you one right now? Have one right in my hand by a squid that I got a week ago. For a bonus, did you know that crows can outsmart your pets? 
While cats and dogs demonstrate problem-solving skills, they lack the ability to create and utilize tools, setting them apart from the ingenuity of crows. Parrots, akin to crows in intelligence, face challenges in tool usage due to their curved beaks. Comparatively, dogs, although not tool users themselves, have evolved to collaborate with humans to fulfill their requirements. Cats, on the other hand, have not only mastered living alongside humans, but have reached a point where they are revered and worshipped. The question arises, why are crows so smart? With their brain the size of a human thumbprint, making up 2% of their body weight, how is this possible? The bird-to-brain size ratio is similar to the primate-to-brain size. Primates are incredibly smart and capable of using tools they have made to aid food retrieval. Another crucial element contributing to crow intelligence is the remarkable density of neurons packed into their small brains. With around 1.5 billion neurons, comparable to certain primates like gorillas, crows can rapidly engage in thinking and complex problem solving. Considering these factors, which species would you say is smartest?